Uh, Marcy Winograd, thank you so much okay. for the work that you do for our students. I'm so grateful to all of you. I'm a retired LAUSD English and government teacher, and I also worked as a literacy coach around the state for the Sacramento County Office of Education. Uh, as a retiree, I volunteer in my grandson's second grade classroom as a reading coach. So I am familiar with the world of education. And we are here today, I'm here today just to give everybody a heads up to what's coming our way and to ask that you be vigilant on behalf of our children in pursuit of the truth in education. I'm talking about a newly enacted law, SB 1277, that establishes a California Teachers Collaborative on Holocaust and Genocide Education, which sounds like a very worthy endeavor, and it is. My concern is that the collaborative is a majority of organizations that are aligned with an Israel lobby group, the Anti-Defamation League. The Anti-Defamation League has a curriculum that it offers for free, and it will be inviting teachers to a symposium on their curriculum via County Offices of Education. The Marin County Office of Education is the office that is funneling funds to this collaborative, absent total oversight. I have no idea how these organizations get on it, how they get off, what the governance structure is. Uh, the bottom line is, however, that it is of great concern. I, I'm really knee deep in the curriculum here, Echoes and Reflections, it's called. And I'll just share with you some of my concerns about this curriculum. I was raised in a Jewish household. I'm a member of Jewish Voice for Peace. At one point in one of the lessons, it's a digital slideshow, it asks you, what is the meaning of anti-Semitism? And it breaks it down into three parts, anti-against, uh, ism, a system of beliefs, and then it says Semite, and it, it describes a man in Germany in the 1800s who uh, went on a campaign against discrimination against himself uh, in leftist circles. Okay. And so you're still wondering, well, what's a Semite? And then you read on, you, if you did any research, you'd find out that a Semite is both Arabic and Jewish, that both Arabs and Jews lived in ancient historic Palestine and spoke a language that was dominated by six, vowel, six vowels. Uh, that's a Semite. So that just gives you an idea of the kind of uh, inaccuracies that are embedded in this curriculum. In addition, it asks you to define anti-Semitism, and it includes as a definition, bias against the state of Israel. Well, this is not true. Anti-Semitism is not anti-Zionism. Anti-Semitism is bigotry against Jews. Anti-Zionism, and there was a growing uh, group, Jewish Voice for Peace, of anti-Zionists who reject Israel as a Jewish state, particularly as we watch the genocide it is conducting in Gaza. Thank you. Good evening, everybody. My name is Sofia Fadila, and I am a Palestinian-American citizen. Um, I am also a resident of Santa Barbara for the past 30 years. I have two kids, Adam and Amir, and I'm also, I am the founder of Kids with a Z, Kids in Disadvantage Zone. I came back from a five months of a humanitarian mission in Egypt dealing with injured kids and mother that lost their kids in the, of course, war or slash genocide in Gaza. With an aching heart and just found out that our governor, uh, Wilson, he signed the 1277 granting or authorizing the ADL to train our kids in the, of course, our teachers, which transfer to our kids in genocide. So it's such a, like, sarcastic act. It's like a genocide supporter training teachers in genocide. And in addition to that, we didn't have any input, like, from other Palestinian organizations to just being involved with it. It just was given strictly to the ADL. I don't know how they do that. I mean, it's, they are ideal, they are literally a genocide, like denial, and pro-Israeli propaganda, big time. So I am here, I was, came to this country, I have faith 
And I know it was built in fairness and justice. And I am a living soul and outcome of this justice and fairness to be. And having an organization like the ADL, of course, being part of our educational system under a political agenda, it's very really alerting. Because the end of the matter, our kids, the teachers will be transferred the information to the kids. And our kids is our responsibility to be able to get the right input from the right people without any political agenda, with full, with full justice and fairness. Thank you for your time. Hello, I'm Sylvia Agabekian Loudon, and I'm here to speak against the uh, genocide education training program as well. My father was born in the Armenian quarter of Jerusalem. He was raised there and he fled the Nakba, eventually making his way to the USA and building a great life and a, and a big family. Uh, but I still have family in the occupied West Bank. And for my family, I ask you not to contract with this training program until it includes scholars on Palestine, uh, develops a transparent and accountable governance structure, uh, and understand that at this point, it seems that these programs are meant to indoctrinate our children into the ADL beliefs, such as uh, there is no ethnic cleansing or genocide going on in Gaza right now. Um, they also believe that uh, anyone who criticizes Israel is being anti-Semitic, which is not true. And they also promote colleges who... Uh, pass resolutions against boycotts of Israel. Boycotting is a, you know, a standard uh, way of, of doing things now um, to pro protest things. And that it goes directly against the First Amendment, our freedoms in this country. Our students need unbiased education about past and current genocides. They deserve much better than this biased and harmful program. My father did not like to admit he came from Palestine. I believe this stemmed from the prevailing sentiment that Palestinians are crazy, crazy, savage people who are somewhat less than other people in the world. The vast majority of Palestinians are people who just want basic respect and to live their lives in peace. Please do not allow the ADL and the this genocide education program to paint Palestinians as subhuman. We can fight hate in better ways than this. Hello, I'm Maria Montero, and I'm here to talk about SB 1277 too. Uh, I, I think it's extremely important to teach about genocides. Of course, it's like genocides are like ter terrible things that have happened in our history as a humanity. And they should be teaching a unbiased way, and also um, including the one that is happening right now, the one that is taking thousands of lives in this exact moment. And I think it's very uh, concerning that this collaborative of teachers are, have organizations like the Anti Defamation League that. Even though the ADL is integrated in the community doing several works, they have a history and an ongoing pattern of um, attacking social justice movements led by community of color, queer people, immigrants, Muslims, Arabs, and other marginalized groups. So uh, I am I'm asking we are asking that you guys do not contract with the collaborative until they drop all these organizations that are biased and that they conflate the uh, anti-Zionism with anti-Semitism. Um, yeah, uh, include the scholars of on Palestine and Israel genocide in Gaza and develop a transparent and accountable, accountable governance structure. Thank you.